Hi, let's dive into E2 uh, configuration. So the first item uh, I would like to configure is the application ID. So this one is just used to um, for identity purposes of the, uh, the whole application. Uh, this might be useful in cases where maybe you are running a couple of instances on the same server. And uh, so let's see how you can do that. Now, when you open the index.php file within the web folder, you'll notice that um, E2 runs a single instance of the application file, I mean application class, uh, that is E web application, and then it loads in the configurations. And then the configurations, as you can see, are loaded from the uh, the config web.php uh, configurations. So for you to best understand this, uh, check out this class to see the possible application uh, configurations that you can do. So let's jump into it. Sorry, it should be somewhere here. So in this browser, I've already opened the abstract class eBase application, and uh, you can see it has these uh, public properties. And uh, let's find a quick one, the ID. So the ID, the value is a, is a string. And then there's a simple description here that it's a uniquely, uh, uniquely identifies this module among other modules which have the same parent. So you can just go back to the editor and then back to the web file. Then you can see this this ID. I'll just change it to something like um, YouTube Code Lab. Good. So this one is used to identify this application uh, uniquely. I mean, uniquely identify this application. Uh, the other item I would like us to to configure is the time zone. So for the time zone, you can also find it here, just right, right here. So time zone is the time zone used in the, um, how do you call it, by this application. Uh, just before I continue, sorry, just remember something that we need. This is the actual class that we are configuring, sorry. Uh, uh, the time zone. Time zone, time zone. So time zone is here, the time zone used by the application. So for time zone, you can just check the PHP time zones. And then, uh, so there's the list of supported time zones. Maybe you are in America or uh, South America, and then just check something like um, America Havana. And then, uh, so you can check your I mean, um, your time zone right here, and then do the settings as I'll show. So just time zone, uh, the value is um, America Havana. So if I try to just um, uh, view file site index, then maybe just echo something like, um, The date time now. Sorry, the date, and then um, let's say the format is YMD uh, HIS. We should find the time. We should be able to display the time as it is in Havana. So you can see at the moment, it's uh, 23rd October, 5.29 p.m. I'm in a different time zone, so I'm in a time zone uh, ahead of Havana, but that's how you can configure your time zone. Um, the other aspect I would like to configure is the, just a quick one, the name. So the name is also a, uh, a string, so the application name. Uh, I'll just go in and uh, 
write in the web.php just maybe you can put it below the id and say name something like ye let me use single quotes uh huh ye code lab good so let's try it so you can see it has changed the name automatically to uh, e code lab so that's pretty much about some of the basic um, configurations I'll be creating more videos about the configuration so that you can quickly learn how to do the configurations on your own so that's it guys thank you and uh, remember to subscribe bye bye